I got exclusive access to the new World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within, as you can see here by the new login screen. This is a bug, it actually looks like this. In this sneak preview, I got access to the new zone, the Isle of Dorne, its main storyline, side quests, dungeons, and WoW's newest feature, Delves. But before we get into all that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, uh, so, so yeah, uh, Dalaran gets shot out of the sky in the opening of the expansion. Your questing experience starts with checking in on Magni, who's not as shiny anymore, and he's kind of depressed. Azeroth is calling to our usual suspect of heroes. Also in the alpha, Jaina has her eyes closed the entire time. And when Magni tries to communicate with Azeroth, he's thrown into a coma. Ah! We take Magni to Dalaran to nurse him back to health, and Moira, daughter of Magni, is there. Now, I love Moira. Uh, there's probably gonna be a whole video dedicated to her very soon. She originates all the way back to classic WoW in the Blackrock Depths dungeon, where she fell in love with Emperor Dagran Tharzan. And we killed him, but they did have a kid together named Dagran Tharzan II, who was a baby for like 15 years, and then, whoa! Did you find something? I want to see everything. Give me something to figure out. He's all grown up now, and is a dwarf, without a beard. And, you know, I really didn't expect him to look like he's a part of a K-pop group. So all the bronze beards gather around, and Magni is in a coma. We talk to this giant placeholder Tarn in the alpha build, and then, boom! Dalaran is destroyed and on the shores of the Isle of Dorne. From the various lines of dialogue, we can assume that Zalatath, the main antagonist of the expansion, is responsible for this, and she's working with the Nerubians, who are now invading its ruins. The weird thing is, the ruins of the city are very, very small, so did they only destroy a chunk of the city? Where's the rest of it? Uh, I don't know. Both answers we kind of just don't have right now. But personally, I love the idea of Dalaran getting destroyed. You know, I always like it when there are consequences at the beginning of the expansion because it solidifies the antagonist as being an actual threat. I just hope we get more context, you know, uh, pretty soon. So the continent this expansion is based in is called Castle Gar, located off the west coast of Pandaria. The zone we first get access to, and the only zone that isn't underground, is the Isle of Dorne. Think of it as a mixture of Stormheim, the Twilight Highlands, and Stormsong Valley, all mixed into one. The main story has us working with the Earthen. They're gonna be the new allied race for the expansion and all of their stony, robotic, bearded glory. Their city is the main hub of this expansion called Dorno Gaul. This place is massive. You can spend a lot of time exploring all the nooks and crannies, and there's not one, not two, but three different hot springs you can enjoy in Dorno Gaul. Someone at Blizzard just loves the concept of hot springs because there's one in Veldraken during Dragonflight as well. Another one of my favorite features in this new city is there's this giant hydraulic press that if you stand under it, it just insta-kills you. <laughs> Dorno Gaul also has something called the Corway, which is a passage to all the other zones kind of like the Zara-like caverns in Dragonflight. It gets blocked up, and the main story involves us unblocking it so we can explore the rest of the zones. But like I said, the Isle of Dorne is the only one we have access to at the moment. And there's lots of side quests here too, of course. We fight kobolds desecrating earthen statues and stealing their... body parts. And these kobolds have new models, and they look quite nice. We also help some dragon scale expedition adventurers, help an earthen with all timers, and shear the moss off of some stone sheep, and then beat the crap out of them when they get upset. There are also some hidden NPCs who survive the Dalaran wreck, like the Dalaran rat and turtle, which originally come from the Dalaran sewers, and are an obvious reference to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And there's also my new favorite NPC, Lionel, the magical talking fish from Dalaran, who you have to kick back into the water to save his life. Another thing you can discover in Castle Gar are Delves. Now, Delves are one of the new main features in The War Within. It's solo content that's kind of like a mixture of scenarios, the Mage Tower, and Torghast, all wrapped in the one thing. It's hard to give a value judgment on them so far because they're just very, very easy. And I'm assuming these are more like tutorials than actual Delves, but I think they could be cool. 
very quick, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes or so, and it will be nice to have some hopefully challenging content in the game that you can quickly drop in and drop out of, and it offers some substantial rewards. Lastly, I got access to two different dungeons, the Cinderbrew Meadery and the Rookery. The Cinderbrew Meadery is awesome. It's got goblins. I love goblins. It's got bees. Bees are cool. And the last boss is named Goldie Barrenbottom, the B-E-O. And I mean, it feels like it's a spiritual successor to the Stormstout Brewery dungeon in the Mist of Pandaria, and it's great. Lots of big, fun AoE pulls, and you gotta give mead to drunk people as a mechanic for the first boss. Uh, 10 out of 10. The Rookery is all right. You know, it's a pretty generic dungeon set in the main city that has lots of void shenanigans. And uh, during the last boss, I fell in the water and was stuck there for the full fight. But I don't know, maybe Mythic Plus players will think this dungeon is cool. I have no idea what I'm talking about. And that's everything I thought that was interesting in this first look of the war with an expansion. It's pretty cool so far. I just hope that we get to see a lot more soon. I'm gonna go uh, cry over the ruins of Dalaran now. Okay, bye. <laughs>